Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant and we're here once more for some more Baldur's Gate 1. So, <clears throat> in the last episode we had a very good fight, which was a great success, versus Serevox Acolytes I in the Iron Throne. By our lack of and then we had a bunch of inventory management, uh, for those of you who saw the episode and managed to suffer through it. I salute you, my friends. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so Execute we could now continue on uh, with the main quest, but I'm gonna try and do some of the side quests here because there's some cool stuff to do and there's there's some of it which I don't actually remember <clears throat> where I can do it, but I will try nonetheless. Wherever fate takes me. Because, I mean, it's it's some cool quests, and I think they, they deserve to be done. What is this? Ah, oh, this is the, the water potion, I guess. Container is full. Good. Okay. So let's see what's inside this house here. Ah, okay, good, good, okay. So, nice. Already found one. So this here is Mr. Archeon. And this guy is part of this quest. Archeon and Nemfre. The priest, Ordulinian, has passed on a strange warning regarding two necromancers engaged in a long-standing but petty feud. Uh, their names are Archeon and Nemfre, and I have been advised to steer clear of their meddling while in Baldur's Gate. <clears throat> so, let's not steer clear, let's actually see what this is all about. Right. I've got a dirty deed for you! How about you go down into the sewers and bring me up a body? Now, I don't ask questions about how you come about them, but I don't want any questions about what I use for them. Use them for. Bring them to me when you find them. <clears throat> okay. So this guy, obviously so <clears throat> a necromancer. He wants a corpse. Good. And we also need to find Nemfre, which is the other necromancer that's locked in a feud. Fe feud? 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 Great uh, between them. Great so okay, so Koran is gonna unlock some things here for us. Fate takes me. Aren't you Koran? Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Any traps? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. So be it. Okay, so here we have another potion. Oh my god, more potions. We have some guild and a dagger. So, so nothing special. So, so we can right quick get a, a corpse for this guy because the sewers are right here and I'm gonna give our friend Vaconia here um, the booties of... Oh really? I cannot enter here? You bitches. <coughs> I'm gonna give her the boots of speed and since she has such amazing strength she's gonna pick up a body and bring it to us. Now. Okay, cool, brothel. I think there is a body over here. Hmm. Body? No body. Um, okay, there's bodies over here for sure. Okay. This is where the, the ogre mage I was. Come on, Viconia. Run through the sewers. Yeah, we don't care about those. We are going to pick up a body <clears throat> and we're going to go back to our friends. Yeah, you can't catch me. <laughs> I'm too fast. Speed, cleric. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so let's give these back to Palpatine. Let's all go back up. And really quickly, let's deliver this quest to this guy. What? I had no idea. Oh, he's kind of cute. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense because they were kidnapping people from up here. So it makes sense they're able to actually climb up. Yo, 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 yo. Are you for real? Did you just... 
Man, they're hitting everyone. Man, and of course, they had to paralyze the only person that actually mattered <laughs> to finish the damn quest. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Okay, so let's take this time to actually see if we can find some extra stuff here. This is locked. Mr. Ken and Mrs. Ken. Wherever fate takes me. What say you? You need something, stranger. What do you want? We're preparing a big celebration and don't have much time. If you'll excuse us, okay. You funny looking. You funny looking. I lost my dolly. Oh. Mrs. I'm Ken. <clears throat> okay, no time for talking. Luck Viola. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am so happy. What the hell is going on here, man? Oh! Nothing has happened! Okay, just a house with some stuff Luck to steal. Okay, Vaconia is back among the land of the people that can move. Sure. So be it. Hello, friend. So be it. Speak up. Ah, ripe one. You have done well there, haven't ya? Here's 250 gold pieces to relieve the stink of it all. Ah, Nemfre, I'll have that ring yet. <clears throat> okay. So, this gives us a bit of gold and some decent experience not really that much at this point but some decent experience now necromancers are kind of evil and i'm also evil so die off he goes and we are gonna steal archeon's bloodstone amulet which i think is not gonna be useful for any quest right now but <clears throat> Still, amulets are usually magical. Uh, okay, general generic text. Never mind. But this um, so particular it. amulet could, in fact, be used for a quest. But I don't think we actually got it. Okay, so we've been there. <coughs> Anything over here? We have a house here. Order sixty-six. Why is nobody moving? Okay, move. Okay. So, I'm gonna speed this up a bit. And let's have Mr. Corden here unlock this door for us. We have a girl. Execute order 66. Hello, girly. I want my mommy. Just because you're tough doesn't mean you're the boss of me. Get out! <clears throat> Makes sense. Uh, anybody upstairs? Fate takes me. Nobody upstairs. Let's go out. Good. Good. Cannot get inside here. Cannot get inside there. And there is nothing really over here. Okay. What about over here? Execute order 66. I've been inside this place. Okay, I haven't been here. So the thing is, um, <clears throat> many houses in Baldur's Gate don't really have much for you to do. What? What the hell? Ah, okay, it's already open. Uh, but some of them actually have some side activities and quests and stuff. But it's not always easy to execute or the <clears throat> to understand which are which. So you just gotta explore. Welcome to my humble establishment. Okay. Simple shop. <clears throat> so pretty irrelevant. Execute and we also have this place over 66. here. I kind of have a feeling I've been here already, but the door is closed. An so empty house. 
So be yeah, it. an empty house. Okay. Life is adventure you have now. piqued my interest. Great peril yields great beauty. <laughs> Not so worth be it. it. Yes. Okay. So be it. No point in even raiding those. Execute order um, 66. What else have we got? Do we have any entrances here? No. We have the blushing mermaid. We have a house here. So... Saving time here, guys. Not really a fan of using this, but... Otherwise, it would be a great suffering <coughs> to make great videos of me just walking around. Okay, so... Put this back on. So a commoner, and... Do you have something to say? Something you require? I know you not at all, but I hesitate to ask you to leave. I do not wish... To turn out anyone in these dark times. Thank you, I guess. Okay. Oh, oh this is kind of new. Okay, I did not know this. Cool. If I had need of a protection cloak... I would have one. Wonderful. <laughs> Execute order um, 66. What else can I go? <clears throat> Execute We've been order to the Blushing 66. Mermaid. I don't think I've actually been to the Splurging Sturgeon. Yeah, no, I, I, I went here because of the burglary quest. But I didn't actually go inside. Okay. So let's explore this area. Hello there. Hello there. Lantanara. You there, wait. I recognize your face from a, from a dream I had last night. Dreams speak with wisdom the waking mind can rarely fathom. Tell me your dreams, woman, and warn me of my place in them. Okay. <clears throat> you were a god made of iron. And I watched you from below, so far below. You were stolid, still, unmoving, a bulwark against ra uh, against some raging storm, and then you, and then you shattered, and, and you broke, your iron flesh it, it tore itself asunder, and, and and you feel and you fell to your knees, a weakened being. It was horrible, a true horror, and I woke up weeping with my husband shaking me, desperate to rouse me from my reckless slumber. Whoever you be and whatever you have come here for, beware the fates, for they, they be arrayed against you. Okay, lady. Execute order. So not 66. good news. Who's this guy? Lucilin. <coughs> Drink up. Okay. <laughs> and the, the the voice lines for some of these guys are just impeccable. <clears throat> okay, so what we have in C Execute up here. Order sixty six. Yeah. Ooh. Mr. Shade. Hi, friend. Do you have them? <coughs> uh, of course. Do you have the trade? <coughs> Aye, that and more. Best we say no more, lest the night be blown. Agreed. One can never be too careful. Why would you say that? And why wouldn't I? I thought as much. To business then? <laughs> Agreed. What say you to this? And I would know this? What of your job? <coughs> uh, it goes as planned. So it's agreed then. Uh, sure. Alright then. Um, you have no idea what we're talking about, do you? Um, of course I do. It's uh, business as usual. I that and more. But what the hell? Does it loop? Okay, so, uh, no, I just play- I was just playing along. I see. So you bluffed your way through this entire conversation without a clue what was going on. Uh, yes, what was the point of all this? Uh, I, uh, forget. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so kind of an idiot over here. But that guy actually has... What? 
Why the hell is there a mustard jelly in here? Man, this game sometimes has the weirdest things, I tell you. <coughs> okay. Mustard jelly, I'm coming for you. Kill! Come on. Yay! 2000 experience, nice. Now, <clears throat> is there anything remotely relevant in these things? No, it's not. Not, not worth the time required to actually open them. Okay, so we have met with Mr. Shade. So be it. So uh, let's see. The blushing mermaid. Was this where the thief was? Well, hello there, youngin. Uh, hello, Mr. Commoner. What do you want? Did you hear that? There was an architect at a house near the elf song with an injured. Oh no! In the middle of the city. Can you imagine that? Was it the orc we met <clears throat> on the road and in the in elf song? A house near the elf song tavern. Okay, we gotta go there. Let me just check this out first. Yeah, we... So we've been here and upstairs is where the... The assassin that poisoned us was. Yeah, indeed, okay. So you can just go back down. Execute order There's actually a lady... <clears throat> in this area here that gives us a quest but I think she only shows up during daytime <clears throat> so for now let's go to the so to the elf song tavern or in this case to the house near the elf song tavern now which house is it um here? No, these are the, the Thieves Guild, never mind. Ah! Oh, <clears throat> is, it, is it Mr. Ken, the Kens? Oh my lord. I can stand no more. They were all so happy and they had Viconia. Not Viconia, Vi Viola. Was it here? So be you need something stranger. What do you want? <laughs> I have heard that you have encountered problems with orcs. Do you need any help? By the nine hells, will that ever stop? <laughs> Forgive my harsh tone, but the situation really starts to irritate me. To answer your question, no, we do not have, nor have we ever had, problems with half orcs or any other monsters attacking the house, robbing my daughter or any similar things you might have heard. It is simply my son-in-law, who is of orcish descent, celebrating his wedding with my daughter. They are on their honeymoon now, fortunately. <clears throat> so those bitches, man. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate your efforts and your will to help, but I am clueless as to what I should do to stop these wannabe adventurers stomping into my house, thinking they can earn a sack of gold. You haven't been the first who has come here. You are talking about Ugus, aren't you? I met him. He was quite unsure as to whether he would be welcome here. <clears throat> ah? Well, we were taken aback by his appearance at first, that is true. But he's a really good lad. Better manners than some of the local boys, that's for sure. I'm sure I'll get used to the thought about grandchildren with green skin and brow ridges someday. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so everything is fine for the half ogre and his fiance, thankfully. So be it. And now I want to do something in. Is it the Three Kegs uh, <clears throat> pub? I don't remember. So be it. It might be. Have we come here? I guess not. Corn. Open house. Olsa. Wherever fate takes me. Execute order. Luisa's mother. Who are you? Can I assist you? Excuses, but since Luisa's death, we locked the door to avoid disturbances. What do you want? Okay. I don't think I've met this girl. 
Rini, Execute what are you? Order I'm a but one must be flexible in these times. I have been working on a ballad about the unicorn run from the in the high forest. I'd like to use a more reliable source than simply hearsay and folklore, though. If you ever find an authoritative, an authoritative history of the run in your travels, I'd love to get my hands on it. Okay, so this is just a, a, <clears throat> a very small quest, uh, a bard's request. She wants us to find a book for her called The Unicorn Run. Execute order and, 66. I mean, I haven't really been paying attention to, <laughs> to the books we find in our travels, but I really should. If I find one, we'll give it back to her. So right now, we're gonna go into this pub. Because I do believe... <clears throat> there is a fight to be had here. And Palpatine never shies away from a fight. Okay, they're going the way around. Hey, we arrived. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. Uh Execute order. <clears throat> God damn it, it's not on this one. So be it. Uh okay. So it's in a different pub. I need to remind myself of which pub it is. Probably it's the Hellman Cloak. We'll see. Life is okay, so let's have Corin unlock some locked doors me. here. Okay. Just doing this so I don't need to later. Okay. And now, let us go inside and see what's here. Something you require? A commoner. Execute order 66. And nothing. Okay. I mean, I guess I can check what's over here. Okay. So be I'll it. take it. Actually, I love bloodshed. Be a lady. Unicorn run? Nope. Nope. What is it now? So be Life it. Great peril yields great what about upstairs? Wherever fate takes me. No. No such luck this time. Execute order. Okay. So be it. Next door. It's a lot of commoners. Yes, great peril yields great beauty. Wherever fate takes me. Okay, nothing over here. Execute. Order so, 66. all that remains are these two houses over here. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. A boy. Said not to talk sixty six. Okay, so nothing interesting here. I can stand me. no more. Great peril yields great beauty. Mm-hmm. Execute order sixty six. I'm trying to find Nymphre. Away with you, beggar. Away with you, beggar. You shouldn't have broken into my master's home. Master Jardak will be quite displeased when he learns that ruffians have disturbed the order of this house. <laughs> Who the hell are you and why are you dressed in such silly colors? My name is Drelic, but really, my name or the clothes I choose to wear are of no consequence. Of, con of consequence here is that you have broken into my master's house and made a mess. I think I'll have to clean up the mess. Permanently. <coughs> You're kind of crazy. Sir. Life is adventure or nothing. Because I don't think you're really aware of the danger here. Your worthless life end here. Men are he actually tanked some damage. I'll give him that. A 
again you disturb me. Sure, we'll take your stuff. So be it. Okay. So, uh, might as well check this out. Okay, it looked weird. Now, who is this master you speak of? So be it. Fear my wrath, for it is great right, indeed. All right. Jardak, what have you done? My butler wouldn't have let you up here un unless you killed him. Pathetic wretches. Do you know what you have done? Your screams will echo in hell for all eternity for your insolence. Hey, hold on, mister. It was your butler who attacked us. We just defended ourselves. If you're going to have hired help, make sure that you have get someone a little smarter next time. Who are you and where did you get that cool armor? Hmm, at least you have a better fashion sense than your butler. God. You don't understand the gravity of your situation. Stinking brigands, draw steel so that we may fight to the death. So, another one that's kind of... Crazy. <clears throat> are you gonna die? Ooh, Frost Giant Strength, and you're aiming at Vaconia. Now that just won't do. He's magic resistant. Oh, fancy. Oh, my lord. <coughs> no. <coughs> Go down. Jesus. Dude. Would you please just die? Oh my god. And this guy is like a truck. No, 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 no. No, no, go down. My friend. <coughs> please. Why me? Holy god. Okay. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting this. Do you have some nice stuff? Oh, you might. Don't you? Not over encumbered. I'm amazed. Sure. Now, do you hold some interesting great stuff over here? Great beauty. Dude, but yeah, this guy, he hit like a truck, Jesus. And those weren't even crits. All right. Okay. Execute so order. just a fight for some experience, I guess? And a hat. Okay, cool. Um... What else is over here? I think nothing. Okay, so let's go out. So be it. <clears throat> I need to find the... The pub where the fight is gonna happen. I'm thinking it's the helm and cloak. Or the cloak and helm. I'm also gonna heal in a bit here just in case you know <clears throat> it can be dangerous so I think what I want is here nope so be it uh, not here he not here here maybe execute order 66 yeah, okay. And there might be some houses to raid as well. There's one down there. There's this one. There's this. there's a lot of houses here. Yeah, cool. Okay. I'm kind of afraid if Kagan is gonna live through this if I don't rest beforehand. <laughs> so be. <it>. Nah. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Do I think we'll be fine? Let's try something here. <clears throat> Let's put Kagan closer to the front. Let's have you guys over here. So be it. 
<clears throat> now, as is custom, I'm gonna buff myself. Edwin's gonna buff himself. Vaconia is gonna buff protection versus evil. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna cast Blur. You are, so you are gonna cast Blur. Also. You are going to cast Remove Fear. You're gonna cast Bless. I'm gonna cast Mirror Image. What is mirror it Image. Now? Let's see what we can do, <coughs> and hopefully I won't regret not healing up Kagan. You need something stranger. Here we find our friend Mr. Gorpal Hind. Ahoy fellow adventurers! Come share a glass with Gorpal Hind and his band of merry folks. Seated with me are Farlock the Fearless, Turpin the Roaring Ranger, and Nelik the most devious and fiendish of thieves. We owe him money so he gets a good title. But away with these meager introductions. Si uh, Settle up to the bar, settle up to the bar, <coughs> and tell us a tall tale of our latest adventures. Well, we've been through the Cloakwood and fought our way through every le level of a guarded and secret iron mine at its heart. There were mages at every turn casting lightning bolts and fireballs into the heart of our party before stepping through their dimension doors to renew their attacks from another flank. Aye, there was loss and carnage, but I revel in the memory of it still. <coughs> this is just talking about the Veyorn. <laughs> Iron mines in the Cloakwood? Your tales are tall indeed, and we are richer for the telling. Consider yourselves honorary members of the Merry Folks, and may ale and friendship always flow within these hollowed halls. A toast, you drunkards, to Palpatine and the winsome souls that surround us now. I'll crush your face, I will. But then, <coughs> here come the... the sour pusses, <coughs> Mr. Gretek. Clear the way for Gretik and the Maulers of Undermountain. If you are truly the Maulers of Undermountain, you can clear your own way. I don't sweep the streets before common braggarts. No one stands between the Maulers and their ale. Ready your weapons, men. We have some garbage to pick up. Man, some of these lines are just amazing. <coughs> okay, and these guys actually have their, their party kind of spread out already. Which can be dangerous. So let's have Palpatine. <clears throat> Actually, Palpatine is not going to do anything yet. Let's cast a Greater Malison here. See if we can hit them all. <clears throat> I'm actually. I may have to have someone tank this guy. But that remains to be seen. Uh, I don't want to risk this mage casting some stupid stuff, so let's try and silence them right now. <coughs> and Palpatine is just gonna come over here. Now, one thing that I also need to know is what's the cast time on this? Four. What's the cast time on slow? Three. So I'm gonna have to wait a bit. Okay, so this guy is. This guy can be dangerous. Let's focus on the mage. <coughs> and let's have Palpatine cast his slow. Or, uh, let's wait a bit. Let's cast the slow. Okay, there goes the Malison. Okay. So I think it's pretty much done. Because, let's see. <clears throat> this guy quaffed the potion of cloud giant strength, which is <laughs> I'm concerned. Um, Wilf has armor of the fate, spiritual hammer, and draw upon holy might, so he's a he's a competent fighter, I guess. Pargus had mirror image and not much else. Greater Malison hit. So all their saving throws are lowered. Slow also got cast. <clears throat> so Nader is silenced, Pargus is silenced, Wilf is silenced, Harlan is dead. And are they slowed? 
<clears throat> Pargus is slowed. Can I not see more slows here? Did I, did I only hit one person with a slow? That's kind of amazing. <clears throat> okay, but the dangerous one is this one, I think. Hmm. Okay, so Vaconia. Buff us up. We have our merry band of adventurers coming to help. Mr. Gretek here. I do not like him. Let's toss another slow in this area. Right here. And you are gonna toss a glitter dust. Actually, remove magic. Clear their buffs. Oh, yes. Everybody slowed. We are now under the effects of recitation and they are screwed. Did you actually manage to cast under all that attack? Yo, let's not backstab Corn, okay? That's not cool, man. Your worthless lives end here. <laughs> Slow and greater malice and my friends, they are just too powerful. You do not understand the power of Palpatine. Okay. Order 66. We have been honored by your presence tonight and awed by your prowess. I beg your leave, however, for some of my men are wounded and must seek attention elsewhere. May the houses of Palpatine and Gorpal Hind be ever graced with each other's friendship. Come, men, and carry your wounds bravely. They're not wounded. I took care of it. They're fine. Well, let's wait for them to leave. We can now save. We can now pick up the booty. I need an L. You want this, don't you? Take these. A potion of defense. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna leave the ring. Ooh. This could be good for, for Kagan. I actually think it's an X plus two. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, yes. so Corrin, you can pick up the arrows. And you should be tiny. Thank you. Okay. So I think we have some cool stuff here. Alright. So Execute we are now ready to rest. <clears throat> ah, okay. So the bartender fled <laughs> because he was afraid. And I with good reason, let's say. You want some whiskey? Okay, <clears throat> everybody's well rested. Uh, we still have some wounded people, so let's rest again. And that's cool. Up here, what have we? Ah, we had we had the um, the helm. And now we can leave. Now it's daytime, <clears throat> so hopefully we can find uh, the quest lady that I needed. Over here. Good. Quest lady, are you here? She is. Brelbara. Wait, I, I must speak with you. Oh. Karn! So you've come back to the city, coward! What brought you back? Are you looking for another girl to seduce with your deceitful promises? <laughs> God damn it, Karn. Perhaps you'd care to know that you have a daughter. Oh my lord. I have a daughter. That's, uh, that's, uh, wonderful. Surprised at your fling at its consequences. My husband was none too pleased when my daughter turned out to be an half elf. Oh my lord. Iago went into a fury. Nearly killed me, in fact. If you care to remember, Iago was a mage of some power. Power enough to curse our child to an early death. Oh no. Little Namara won't live to see her first birthday. He's gloated to me that he possesses the, re the reverse to the spell, but he won't give it to me. 
Since you're our father, Corrin, you're going to find Yago and you are going to get the reverse of the spell from him. Her name's Namara. Curse? What cursed? Slow down and let me... Yago has been spending his, his night at the Low Tavern, at the Low Lantern. <laughs> it's just another despicable whorehouse, disguised as something classier. You horse! Yago has been spending all of his time there since he left me. He's rented out a room somewhere on the ship. Just find his spell book and bring it to me. I should be able to reverse the curse if I have the, form the formula. Alright, I'll do this for my uh, daughter. So, friends, are you with me or not? Because if you're not, I'll have to do this alone. Sure, we'll help you. When you're finished, come meet me at the Splurging Sturgeon Inn. I'll be there for, a f for the next few days. <clears throat> so I guess it's really cool. I mean, cool is not really the best way to describe it, but... Uh, what is it that I wanted? Yeah. So, this guy was cheated on. So, he left his wife and just rented a room in a whorehouse and, <laughs> and spends all his nights there. Ah, what a man. If she's whoring around, I'm gonna whore around. I'll take my vengeance on this whore of a wife. So be it. <laughs> With my own horse. Ah, God. This is a long way to go. Okay, yeah. People are getting lost. <clears throat> so, let's teleport. Okay, so Yago so be is a mage which we've all actually already seen before. Execute <clears throat> but we left for 66. later. Precisely for this reason. This guy over here. Mr. Yago. I don't... All right. what is your now, so be one annoying thing with this is the I extreme close quarters and line of sight. <clears throat> but let's see if we can do this without getting into much, too much trouble, let's say. I'm gonna risk this. I'm not gonna buff myself up with anything. So be you need something stranger. What in the nine hells are the lot of you doing in my room? We're here for the cure to the curse you've placed on Briel Baraz's daughter. Yeah, we can also try and be deceitful. We're members of the Flaming Fist, and we've been ordered to confiscate all spellbooks in the town. You needn't worry, you'll get yours back in a few days. Your deception won't work on me, simpletons! <laughs> okay, so Mr. Mage... Time to die. <clears throat> okay. So he's taking some damage. He's badly injured. But then his pre-buffs kicked in. On this one I didn't really wait because this is not much of an interesting fight. This guy... Well, he does have spell deflection. <clears throat> so it can be annoying. Um... He has spell deflection. <clears throat> Night singer. This kind of looks like a horror spell. But it might be confusion. If it's confusion, I'm gonna cry. One of the heavens. And let's see if we can also hit him with some magic missiles. To interrupt this stuff. Yeah. Quickly! <laughs> okay, so he, he simply cast... Man! He took no damage. Did the mirror images soak all of that up? God damn. Because I don't think spell deflection works against wands. I may be wrong though. <clears throat> Please, let me live. I give up. I'll give you anything you want. Just don't kill me. We don't take prisoners. Yes. Do not mess with the father. Bitch. So here we have Yago's Book of Curses. Uh, I think we can also get some stuff from his... From his thingy here. Um, drop these. Now, hopefully this courtesan is not gonna, gonna report thievery. Oh! 
I mean, it's not like. Why? Why? I'm just buffing up my charisma by removing the, the helm. Yes, yes. Hey, take money, shut up. <laughs> uh, Kagan, go there. Take all the scrolls. <clears throat> sure, they can take 100 gold, I don't care. Um, okay, so we've got Yagos' Book of Curses. We are gonna go back up. And we're gonna finish the episode up here. Or rather, I'm just gonna try and find the area that has the stur the stur the the splurging sturgeon. I swear these names, man. <laughs> it's on purpose. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna rest in the area with the sturging splur splurging sturgeon. So be it. And finish there so we can complete the quest when we get back. Finally. Let's put Corrin's armor back on. Let's do our typical save. I think this is one that's 51. Yay. So Palpatine, 51. We have been progressing rather nicely, I must say. No uh, game overs just yet, thankfully. Um, so yeah, as always guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, I want to thank you for choosing my channel to be here with me and watching some Baldur's Gate. If you guys have any thoughts about the game, any questions about Baldur's Gate, anything at all, leave a comment. If you guys want to get notified about future uploads to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. So until then, stay safe everyone.